Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Molentrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me is Salvatore Palella, CEO of Helvis, a global micromobility company and also the first micromobility company to list on NASDAQ. Salvatore, it's great to meet with you. Welcome to Trade Talks. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Explain to the audience more about the micromobility industry and the ecosystem around it. So micromobility is a new is a new way to move around, uh, the new way to go from A to B. We start to we start to work on this uh, around six years ago, and now micromobility, especially after COVID impact, is uh, one of the biggest sector in lot of uh, in lot of uh, mobility space, especially in city where transportation is really difficult. And uh, I think it's the, it's going to be the future in the next uh, in the next ten years. We are here to work every day with the city, city and municipality to make it even work better. Of course, uh, it's, uh, it's a kind of work that is still under construction. So we see a lot of, uh, lot of uh, rule change every year, but we, we really open to all, all, the new, all the new rules to make this uh, even a stronger and successful sector. Salvatore, where does Helvis fit in the ecosystem? What's your, your mission, your outlook, and who does Helvis serve? So, so, so Helvis right now serves all the cities around uh, around 45 cities around the world, and uh, it's especially focused on micro mobility, so on scooter, moped, and bike sharing. But uh, in the next future, I'm really sure that we will start to sell scooter. My uh, mopeds and bike and bicycle, but um, I'm also sure that uh, we will be focused also on the delivery because I think mobility and delivery working together in a lot of city, and we are here to stay. What are your plans after the IPO? I think IPO is uh, like I always tell to my employee. IPO is not uh, a point to arrive, but it's just a start. And I think with the IPO, we will start to work. Uh, together with other micromobility company on partnership or making maybe m and acquisition and start to extend our cities around the world. And to wrap up here, why are you listing on the NASDAQ? What was the process behind this? So we're listing uh, through a, a SPAC process uh, and uh, I think NASDAQ uh, mean uh, technology, NASDAQ mean innovation. And uh, because our company is innovation, uh, based on innovation, I think NASDAQ is the right partner to have uh, for the future. Okay, Salvatore, congratulations. Thanks for the insight and for joining us on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Market Reporter at NASDAQ. Thank you, Jill.